shoulder it and put two or three inches of it in the ground and then the other inch or two on, sit on top of it. Right here I think I got enough room. You know, I probably don't even have enough room here. Alright guys, change of plans. Not working on the front room because we need smaller beams. We're gonna try to figure something out. So we're gonna go get those tonight after dinner, but we didn't want to waste all day driving to town and getting them. We didn't want to waste two hours of the day doing that, so we'll do it tonight after dinner. So we're gonna work on fascia boards, soffit, and gutters on the east side of the cabin. Yep, and get them done. That yep. way we have a little more place for rain collection and Everything's just kind of getting finished. Buttoned, getting buttoned up. It washed it all, I guess. <laughs> Cycle complete. Look guys. Wow. It's all washed. Pretty fancy. Let's see if it's actually really washed, but. <laughs> we got some soap in there. It purged the soap. So, I mean, we could make it work. We it was just, just have to... a lot. Uh, it, the water ran, the pump ran for a long time. Yeah, so we'll have to figure that part out. Jeans didn't come as clean as they could have. Probably not, but like I said, we'll figure it out and get the kinks out of it. And do nothing. There we go. Alright guys, working on the uh, fascia boards slash gutters we're gonna try to do metal and all that good stuff soffits but typical fashion of having lots of projects and lots of things to do we get sidetracked we try to wash some laundry for the first time with the new washer but i'm getting sidetracked again and doing something that i've needed to do for a long time which is double tap all my siding when you put the live edge siding up green, when we just milled it, I only nail the top, you know, when we put it up underneath, and then you let the bottom hang out and let it dry and shrink, and sometimes it curls, a lot of times it's curling. So before it gets old, like this stuff in the front and hard as a rock, I didn't do it to the front, and the front is peeling up, but I could still push a lot of it down it might be just a little more difficult, but this stuff is still green enough to push in and double tap it and put one at the bottom. So I'm going along here and pushing it in and it should be a lot better than the front is. The front looks nice, but there are a lot of gaps and we're gonna solve this issue. You know, like it curled up here before I double tapped it. Here, this could just get pushed down because it's just the board. But when it curls hard like this, and in experience, you know, I overlaid it too much and it's all the way up this board. Instead of just being under it a couple inches like it should have been. So these are the first boards we ever put on. And I was learning and I'm still not a professional. But it looks nice still. We haven't done anything to it. We haven't cleaned it. We haven't protected it. We haven't done anything. It's been three years now, right? Three, over three years, right? Or we did it three years in the fall, right? So, still hard as a rock. It actually gets harder because it's been cooking in the sun. Uh, but it's loose. I need to double tap the front still too. But this stuff, while it's still green, it's a little more pliable. So I've been going, we just put all this stuff up last fall. Before the winter. And I'm double tapping it all. And it's working out really well actually. I'm pretty happy because it'd be leave big gaps like watch here's here's then push down and tap this one cracked of course but 
here's what they look like after we double tap them and push them in and here's what they look like before so this one see i could push it in still hit it with the ring shank nail galvanized ring shank nail with the air gun push it in real hard see these ones i've done already so they're pushed in and we're gonna eventually go through and caulk everything but i've been afraid to do that because of some advice so i don't know what i'm gonna do for sure but see i'm just pushing it in tapping and hitting it with the ring shank nail i'm gonna double tap all this it's an easy job it's something i've been wanting to do for months and like i said it's gonna help protect our cabin uh you know again see but put a little weight on it double tap it in if it curls like this one's curled pretty good you can still push it down and let it stick out but i've been nailing it where it hits the top of the board like this one like this one guys okay push it in and then i'll come back and i'll caulk all these bigger holes so bugs can't get in there uh same thing with this you know still loose but push it in barely any gap at all so and we haven't done this front either this gets more weather uh you know because it's the south side of the building that's what i like i like it looking like this i wasn't sure if i'd like it or not thought i was gonna try to keep it looking fresh but what do you guys think what do you like better you like fresh like should i try to power wash this and maybe uh maybe bleach it but i like the old school i like the weathered look i'm liking it a lot so again i'm gonna come through here and double tap all these now that they're aged this was only put up a little bit before this but as you can see more weather from this side more sunshine and more water gets on it and then that's what makes the gray look is more water getting on it so that's what i'm up to jen's making us some lunch slash snack i think and i'm excited to see what she come up with but yeah that's all i'm doing hang out with me for a few minutes and we'll get back to the fascia I want to put my gloves on. Yours right at the edge. Like right at the edge, or is it over sticking over? It sticks over just a smidge.
They're puppies. No, you'd be nice. Nice. What'd you give those dogs? It's a turkey. Gotta hold up the BLT. Toward me, dork. All right, guys, day two, finishing up this side of the cabin, gutter and fascia boards and whatnot. We are going to get some, the last two pieces of live edge siding up. I thought we finished the live edge siding last fall. Well, you didn't put up two pieces. <laughs> Couldn't. Because we had to figure out a few things. Always. Always a reason. So we're finishing it up today. Gonna really finish it all up so it's not half done for another forever. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna 
have some zucchini lasagna for dinner tonight and we haven't had that here on the channel in quite a while so I decided I was going to show you all how it gets done. Put some meat. That's a good puppy. All right, so we'll let that cook for about a half hour to 45 minutes, depending on how the cheese looks and whatnot. And then we'll enjoy. So check back with you in a little bit, guys. There we go, guys. Mm. Put a little more cheese on top and let it melt and cook some garlic bread now. It looks delicious. <laughs> what you got there? Zucchini lasagna. Delicious.